Uh, my name is Kaiser Kavir. I'm CEO of a pharmaceutical company in Bangladesh. Our project with GAIN is actually to improve uh, the malnutrition status of Bangladeshi children. Our partners are Sprinkles Initiative, um, GAIN, and BRAC, which is the largest NGO in the world. And the way we intervene is with a Sprinkles pro product, which all of you know what a Sprinkles product is. Our Sprinkles product is called Pushtikona. Pushti means nutrition, and Kona means grains. So it means grains of nutrition. So the idea was of our pro uh, product is to uh, promote this in Bangladesh. So only three cents a sachet, which is the one of the cheapest, uh, which means $1.80 to address the problem of malnutrition. Um, so it's really cheap. It's a 15 micronutrient uh, sprinkles. You, many of you are probably familiar with the five, and there are, various, there are variants of the 15, so this is one of them. Uh, the idea which of sprinkles that all of you know allows for home fortification, so you sprinkle onto food, and uh, you take 60 sashes a year, and it's from seven months to five years, and that solves addresses the problem. Uh, the, the model was very simple, and we thought it was a very strong model. Renata is a manufacturer, so Renata was a manufacturer, use 900 medical representatives to promote the products, and we have our own supply chain management, so we can deliver to 63,000 pharmacies. BRAC has 70,000 health workers, so you can go out into the field which says for peer-to-peer -peer marketing. So we thought it would do well, but we are only selling about a million sachets a month, and, uh, which is in one and a half years into the project. So, so there are many lessons that we have learned that why the project hasn't quite lived up to its, uh, uh, to its expectation. One of these is the role and the influence of the government. I think this is really key because the government's buy-in into a project determines the, the tone of the regulatory regime, determines the tone of the advocacy regime. And, uh, <clears throat> and if, you, if you look at the number of problems that you can have, you see, see like, nutrition is not on the radar of, you know, it's, it's just not sexy enough. Uh, like HIV, tuberculosis, malaria, it's not sexy enough. Uh, but when you have government support, as when you look at ORS, governments had full backing of ORS. Now, everybody in Bangladesh knows about ORS. 70% has the highest usage rates in Bangladesh. 70%, uh, anybody in Bangladesh will know about ORS. Same thing, if you look at birth control pills, it's a Bangladesh is a predominantly Muslim country, but everybody knows about birth control. And it's a quite a successful program. Um, the growth rate in, 2 .6, uh, to in 1973 was 2.6. It has come down to 1.8 now. So this is what you have when you have government backing. The other thing that we have learned, that although Sprinkles is a great product, is a superb product, we think, and it's very cheap. It's only three cents. As I say, three cents a sachet. But when you try to administer it, there are problems. You know, there it is the temperature has to be right. Um, You've got to eat the solution within a stipulated amount of time. It's not as easy as advertised. So we have to remember this, and because we keep getting these complaints over and over. Um, so, so this is a limitation, but we have to somehow work, work with it. But I, I do think... Um, I do think that if there's a momentum behind the prod product, then these limitations would disappear. So I don't think these limitations are completely, completely, bu completely binding. I'll wait till the slide changes. Okay. What you need is also, when you have a buy-in from the government, you also need support from the international community. And in all these diseases, you know they are much more onto the radar than nutrition is. So you have to make nutrition much sexier. At the moment, it's quite dull. So you have to make it, you have to, we ha all have to bring nutrition onto the radar. This will create a momentum for national governments, and then it will create a momentum for us, the private sector, to go out and sell these products. 
I mean, if you, our infrastructure, I think, is strong. The other thing that we have learned, and this is a good lesson, uh, we were worried that the breastfeeding lobby would object to such, su such a product. But from the start, we have started, we just advertised, Renata, using its own fund, advertised on television just about breastfeeding. So that took away this, the, the problems from the breastfeeding lobby. So that was an important lesson. Um, the choice of partners is very important. BRAC is very important for peer-to-peer -peer marketing. For such products, you need to have peer-to-peer -peer marketing. It's you need a health worker to go out and explain the benefits. On Renata, our main strength is, uh, is, is doctors. We interact with about 20,000 doctors uh, all over the country, urban and rural. So I think that part is a good lesson, and that part is important. But I don't think it's enough. And also, right now, what I've seen, uh, GAIN has been playing quite an important role off late in terms of advocacy to the government. I don't know what, quite what they have done. But we have just received our first order of sprinkles, pushtikona, from the government. So, and the credit to which I give entirely to, to gain, actually, because we had nothing to do with it. So that part is very important. So in summary, uh, our role is, if you want to say one concept, we need to build more momentum behind the, the, uh, this project. Then I think the infrastructure that we have got on ground uh, will help us reach the goals that we had uh, initially targeted. Thank you very much.